Hey everybody and welcome back to the Moto One US channel where today I'm here with the all new 2022 Volkswagen Tiguan. I just got a facelift for this year so it's nice and fresh. We're gonna show you everything that's new with it and honestly whether or not you should buy one. Before we get too far along, I'd like to remind you to please subscribe to the Motor One US YouTube channel, and you can find us using the handle at MotorOne.com on all your favorite social media. Right at the top of the video, I want to share that this is an S-level trim. So this is the entry-level Tiguan that you can get for 2022. That's kind of different because normally the cars we test on this channel are fully loaded, right? And that makes sense. They want us to test every option and see all the things you can get. But today we're gonna to talk about the Tiguan as a value proposition because not only is there a lot that they've added for this model year, but this also has a standard third row of seating when it comes with front wheel drive. So this might be the cheapest or just about the cheapest way you can get into a three row SUV. This car starts at just under $26,000 and it has one option pack, which we'll talk about in a bit, and it's one that you want as well. Loaded the way it is, it's just under $27,000. So that's a good amount cheaper than some of the alternatives, especially when you factor in that this is one of the only cars in the class that offers that third row of seating. What is new on the outside? with the 2022 Tiguan. Well, let's walk around and kind of show you that. Um, they didn't go too crazy with it, right? If you line this up against the 2021 model, it looks pretty similar, especially in the face. The biggest difference is going to be right here in the headlights. You'll know that the Mark 8 GTI is coming to the US in just a matter of months. And the way they facelifted this car, this headlight unit looks a lot more similar to that new GTI. It looks a little bit better than before, um, but just not all that different. You are going to get standard LED lighting now on the Tiguan, which is wonderful. You're gonna get it in the headlights and in the taillights. The other option is down in the fascia. Um, this is not functional. I don't know why it would need to be on an SUV, but it looks a little weird, just some hard plastic across. I wish they maybe didn't go for that. And then overall, there's just some minor changes in the front bumper, but the face of the car is pretty similar to before. Entry level wheels on the Tiguan are gonna be these 17 inch units. They look just fine. You get a nice little mix of alloy and black in them. Uh, as you go up the trim walk into the SE and the SEL, you're going to get some bigger wheel options. This will be a theme that we're revisiting over time. If you want your Tiguan looking better or just a little bit more dramatic in general, you're going to want to go for the R line. The R line is where all of the appearance package is, better wheel options, some blacked out trim, uh, and just overall a more aggressive looking car. As we look at it from the side, let's stack this up against the competition real quick. Things like Hyundai Tucson, Nissan Rogue, those are gonna be your more adventurous options in the class, right? They have uh, harder creases and more angles. Those get a few more looks in parking lots. This is a pretty pedestrian looking vehicle. It's not all a bad thing. Toyota RAV4, Honda CRV, there's other options you can buy as well that don't look all that exciting. But the Tiguan is definitely toward the bottom in the class when it comes to just looking cool, I'll say that. And then from the back, also very few modifications from the 2021 model. You do get this Tiguan word marker, which looks nice. Um, the trunk open and close is not in the emblem like it is on some Volkswagens. It's all tucked underneath now. And like I mentioned earlier, standard LED lighting, which includes a little signature in the taillight, which looks kind of nice. Let's pop open the tailgate. No power lift gate that's gonna be up the trim walk at the SEL level, this one's just manual. You do see the third row for the first time. So again, the third row comes standard when you just buy the car with front wheel drive. When you option all wheel drive, you're gonna lose that third row. And when you drop that third row, you're greeted with a good amount of space. This actually seems a lot bigger than some of the other cars you would consider, like the RAV4, the CRV, and the Tucson. Tons and tons of trunk space. If you have a family of four or five, you can definitely fit everybody's bag in here and go on vacation. Way more than enough space to do your average Costco grocery run for sure. Biggest toilet paper thing you can find can fit in there. Check out the interior. Uh, this is a prop. I left it in here on purpose. This is a big hydro flask, pretty much the biggest size you can get. And look, fits in the door pocket. Somebody's paying attention in product planning. Not every SUV can pull this off. So you have huge cup holders on the sides and then plenty more in the center as well. And let's go check out the rest of the inside. That brings me to my first point, which is a uh, push button start is gonna be standard now. So you get a button that comes with it and keyless entry. So you can keep the key in your pocket, walk up to the car and use push button start to get everything fired up. That's a nice feature that a lot of people want standard. You're gonna get it in every Tiguan you can buy. 
This is probably the biggest change in the layout of this car ahead of me. Every Tiguan is gonna come now standard with a digital instrument cluster. That's different than before. It's also going to get a 6.5 inch touchscreen on the S trim, which is what we have here. I left out this cord for a reason, and that's because you do not get wireless Apple CarPlay in Android Auto. That's gonna come on the higher up trims, but all you have to do is plug in this cord uh, into either the USB-C outlets, and you'll get your CarPlay Android Auto the same way. This is good. I like that it's going digital. Not every car in the class is going to offer that, but I do wish that it was a little bit more configurable. As you go through all the menus, really the only thing you can do is cycle between things like fuel economy, speed, you can show the gears. It, there's not a ton more you can do beyond that. Uh, you're not gonna get any navigation up here. Uh, you, you know, it's just kind of a digital version of a normal gauge cluster, which there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but it definitely could be a bit more configurable. And honestly, the display is kind of low quality. There's a, a different gauge cluster that you get on the higher up trims, and that's gonna take up the full display area and the resolution looks a lot better. So this one is just kind of okay looking. Same over here with the 6.5 inch touchscreen. You get the eight inch touchscreen at the next step up. That's probably gonna be a better option, but this is totally functional. If found especially when you're in CarPlay, Everything is really quick to respond. Uh, there's not a lot of lag time either. The only thing is you can definitely fingerprint it up real quick, so watch out for that. Heated seats down below. Heated seats also standard on the Tiguan. That's a nice feature. They work really quickly. Um, later on, you can get things like heated steering wheel, ventilated seats, but standard in Tiguan are two heated seats up front, which is really nice. Second row time. So this is probably where I can confess that I'm not very tall. I'm about five foot eight for reference, but this seat is pretty far back right now. If you're a six foot passenger, a little over six foot, you're gonna have no problem. I'll also point out that you do get an air vent in the second row. I know it seems like a small thing, but not every compact SUV comes with that, and it makes things a lot more comfortable back here. You can also slide the second row backwards and forwards. So this is all the way back. Um, you're not gonna wanna be like this when you do have people in the third row. And now for you, I will climb back there. Now let's get into the third row. You do that by sliding this seat forward, both sides slide back. This is the two seater, this is the one seat. But now what we show you uh, is what happens when you slide things all the way back. So this is about as far back as you can get with the second row. And even with this, which is as far forward as a second row goes, there's barely any room back here. But if you get to this side, where you would probably have the seating position, if somebody was sitting up there, your knees are completely up against it. So again, for reference, I'm 5'8". This is probably only gonna be for kids that are five feet tall, if that. So that was a quick tour of the exterior and the interior. Now let's take it for a drive. Behind the wheel of the Tiguan, I'll say right away that just because they made this look a little bit more like a GTI does not at all mean that it drives like a GTI. Uh, this is not the most dynamic car you can buy, especially when you have cars that this competes against. The Hyundai Tucson, much nicer to drive. The Mazda CX-5, much nicer to drive. They just took extra steps to make it a little bit more exciting, honestly. But you know what? Not everybody's looking for tons of excitement. They're looking for efficiency and they're looking for practicality. And the Tiguan does very well in both of those departments. This is kind of come standard with a two liter turbocharged engine, makes 184 horsepower and 221 pound feet of torque. The second number is the one you want to pay attention to there. Uh, the RAV4, the CRV, those are naturally aspirated engines at the base level. And because this is turbocharged, it picks up a lot nicer and a lot sooner. Um, some of those engines you really have to wind out to get the power of it, especially uh, on the freeway like we are now. But you know what? The Tiguan, pretty good, pretty easy to manage. Speaking of, it comes standard also with an eight speed automatic transmission. No CVT here like you find in the Nissan Rogue and some of the others. And a lot of people will prefer having a legitimate automatic transmission to go with it. I mentioned that this car has exactly one option on it. And again, it's an option you wanna go for. It's the IQ Drive and it costs less than $1,000. I think it's like 895, something like that. And what that does is it adds in all the pieces of safety that you don't get on the car standard, which is already a lot. 
So for south of $27,000, you're getting a car with a really nicely rounded safety package. So with that additional uh, package, this has blind spot monitoring, it has lane keep assist, it has adaptive cruise control that works all the way down to zero miles per hour, and everything is pretty easy to use. It's just two presses of the button here, and you can get the adaptive cruise going. It works nice and easy on the highway and it'll automatically slow down the car and speed it up with the flow of traffic. So that options package definitely want to be something you go for on the S-Trim Tiguan. This class of vehicle has a ton of great options. We have the long-standing greats like the Toyota RAV4, Honda CRV, Hyundai Tucson, Mazda CX-5, the list goes on and on from there. The Tiguan used to be a middle of the pack car, but you know what? They've made some really thoughtful changes for 2022 and now this is pretty high up there. It might not be the absolute best, but it offers a lot that's new that it didn't have before, and that's a really good thing. Couple that with the fact that it does come with the standard third row seats, and this might just be the best option for a lot of families out there. If you can deal with the fact that it's not the most exciting to look at, that might be the biggest drawback. The engine, the powertrain is phenomenal to work with, and the practicality is there as well. So all in all, a ton new that's great with the 2022 Tiguan, and it absolutely gets our seal of approval.